Anyway, when mixing vocals, do you remove dead space where you're not singing? In the parts where I'm not singing, there is no background noise. That's a great question. So what we're talking about here is in the parts of the vocals where you're not singing, you've got two options. And what I generally do, because I'm a lazy, lazy man, I generally, as you can see there, just leave it all together. I don't actually remove the space between the words. So you can do it both ways. So let's just, uh, so this is the lead vocal on this particular track. Let's take a listen. We're all just a work in progress. Nobody's got it figured out. Yes, we're all just a work in progress. Nobody so there's two parts here. There's the, the breath. Breath sounds there, so you hear that when I'm doing the breath, it's the, the little, and then there's not only the breath sounds, not only the breath sounds, but then there's these bits in between here. So what I'll often do with vocals like this is actually come in here and trim the tops and tails. So you can do that two ways. You can either grab there and just drag back, grab there and drag up there. And what that's going to do is exactly what Princess is saying here. It's going to create blank space. Out. Nobody's knowing. So, because you really don't need, if we just undo that, you really don't need to hear like the background breathing noise in there. Again, if you've got a good quality microphone and a good quality preamp, Get out. Nobody you're not going to hear much. And I keep the breath sounds in there. You could also choose to use automation to automate the breath sound. So every time you take a breath, you drop the volume down and then you bring it back up again. So that, that's one option. Um, and you can, you can also, also use automation. So if I wanted this to be super clean, let's just say I didn't have the cleanest vocal recording and I was playing along here. Nobody's knowing all they can. Not what I might want to do is come in here and uh, do a clip. So just tap on there, go split, and it doesn't matter what DAW you're using, they're all pretty much the same. Split it there, come to here, split it again, and then just remove that, oh, didn't use the split, uh, and then remove that section just by tapping on it, tapping again, and hitting deleted. And then you're gonna get something like this. Not everything. What you need to be careful of. Did you hear what happened there though? I didn't leave enough of it. Even though it looks like the audio ends, it really doesn't because... Yeah, not everything. So I tend to find the reason I leave things well enough alone these days is that I find that the setup I have here, my microphone, my audio interface and preamp, everything is good enough quality-wise that that little tiny bit, like I would rather have that very little tiny bit of background noise in there than risk cutting off or, or spending time making sure I don't cut off the end or the start of any phrasing. So I just let it go. But if you're using, say, a condenser mic and you've got very like loud or, or very uh, picking up a lot of sound, then yeah, you may want to consider going in there and doing those. But uh, it's an interesting question. Do you do the same thing? 